Hi, it's John Foster here, and well, we're going to do a bit of an experiment. Um, still RC related. As you can see, this is the Humble 540 motor. This is the uh, Mabushi motor, which is an RS 540 SH. And this is the typical motor that you get in most Tamiya's. Um, brass bushing at the front where the three millimeter spindle comes out, brass bushing at the end to support this armature that goes between the two. Um, windings and things are inside, magnets inside, and your connections for your positive and your negative, uh, which attach to the brushes, uh, which are attached and touch your commutator. Now, <clears throat> went through my head and thought, speed everyone at the moment is going on about speed how fast does it go now i'm a bit of a squeaker um i kind of put my hands up I'm very thrifty um can you make an rc car with a standard 540 motor run better on a budget well we're going to find out i think um, my idea is here is this motor here, can we improve it slightly? So first of all, most motors that have been modified tend to have bearings on the output and the supporting bearing here at the input end. So if we were to change these to bearings, would that make this 540 motor better would it give you any extra top speed that's the question i'm going to see if i can find out but first of all we've got to get into this and as you can see these are these are really made so that they are disposable so once you've once you've burnt it out it's worn out doesn't do what it needs to do anymore you throw it away and buy a new motor. But I don't want to do that. I want to see if we can get inside, take a look at what's inside, and see if we can make the improvements to make it a bit better. Well, that's the plan. Let's see what I can do. Okay, so for those of you who've ever wondered what's inside a motor, um, I can show you. So. 540 motors aren't really designed for us to open them, so I've had to remove this tang that goes here. This is pressed round to hold this end bell in, and the same again at the other end down here. I've had to remove that tang, uh, which is pressed round again to hold the other side of this end bell um, so that uh, everything is nicely pressed uh from the bearing at one end to the bearing at the other so um i removed these so it's a case of remove this end bell now so we need to push this through because it's being held as well with the with the magnets and then we'll take a look at what's inside a motor uh, and then we're going to have a look and see if we can figure out whether or not these bushings either end are replaceable with bearings um, we shall find out here we go then so i've pushed i've pushed hard here to move this end bell out so that we can move this all the way through let's see if we can pull this it's been held by the magnets of course right so what to be aware of is there is a couple of washers and spacers one on the end here of the armature and one here this goes between so this is the inside of the cap of the end bell so it's a plastic with a metal uh, you can see the brushes are on a spring system like this uh, and you can also see the suppressing capacitors are already on a 540 motor either side okay so that technically goes there you have this then washer which is next then let's pull out the armature oh, there we go so you've got the armature and there's a few spaces and things on here too so you can probably see you can probably see a spacer there and there are various spacers here that they use almost like shims to take out the 
uh, to take out the, the slack in the, in the motor there. Uh, this is your commutator, which is where your brushes will brush up against. And you can see there's a little break in there. So as the DC current goes through this, it makes this spin. Uh, this is your windings, of course, here. Uh, and you've got your three poles with your windings on. And then you have your can itself uh, with your magnets either side. And there's a spring that sits over here. So you can remove the magnets, no doubt, and clean them. But uh, we won't need to do that. Uh, and then, of course, our end bushing there. So we've got uh, an end bushing in this end and an end bushing in this end which is we're trying to get to, to see if we can then put this through. So that's effectively what a motor is. Very straightforward, isn't it? And of course, different windings give you different powers going through, different magnets, etc. So this is where the science of motors comes into it. Um, but for the, for the sake of this video, we're not going to go into that. Um, so oh, my, I'm now going to go and have a look and see if these pressed in um, bushings are removable um, that's what I'm looking for is, is that removable and replaceable with a bearing to make it more efficient um, as you can see this is a fairly new motor anyway um, so if I've sacrificed it I've sacrificed it in the name of science <laughs> right back in a moment so here we are we're back again so this is the end bell and as you can see now the gap in the end bell because I've removed that bushing and the same again here in the main can you can see the gap in the end of the main can where the actual magnets and things are still in and that again is because I've removed that bushing so now you have the components of the 540 motor you've got the the main rotor there with the various spacers and the various shims so this is efficient in the can um, you've got the brushes and the capacitors on the inside of the end bell housing and you've got your bushings either side. Now we need to make a measurement of these to see what they are. So with my digital micrometer I've done a measurement of the uh, holes either side in the can and in the end bell. Um, they tend to match up with these bearings with a tolerance of about 0 0.05 of a millimeter. So uh, we all know that the spindle uh, that goes on the output and will be also the input uh, is about 3.17 millimeters. So in my case, I measured it to 3.18 millimeters, so allowing for a little bit of um, tolerance. Uh, 0.01 of a millimeter is acceptable. Um, the main bearing, which is the one on the uh, output, that just goes on the output of the can, um, this this end of the, of the can here. Um, so the we, the inner the inner measurement is 3.2 millimeters, so that's allowing for a little bit of tolerance of the spindle. Uh, and the outer measurement is 12 millimeters, so that, that's this section here. Uh, again, inner measurement being 3.2, and the outer measurement being around about the 8.7 to 8.75 uh, and I believe the idea is is there's a little bit of tolerance in the end bell cam to press in so that it's um, so it presses in and holds into the end of the can so there was always a little bit of tolerance and uh, also not forgetting the depth which is 3.5 millimeter um, we need to, to measure that that depth there so yeah they're 3.5 millimeter so a little bit of research now um, is, is it worth buying bearings to go in here and put the motor back together again? Um, go find out, shall we? So quick update. Um, I had to quickly change these measurements of these bushings into Imperial. And as you can see there, uh, Imperial measurements, oh, slight error there, that should be uh, an eighth. Um, so that's an eighth of an inch internal, uh, five, uh, 15 32 ths on the external, and 9 64 depth, or the, the width of the the width of it. 
uh, and the same again on the small one. An eighth of an inch is the internal measurement. Um, the 1132s is the out, uh, and the, the 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 width of the the width of the bearing, the bushing, is uh, nine sixty fourths. Um, so a little bit of backwards and forwards, to and froing, bearing suppliers. Uh, thanks to Colin at uh, RC Bearings as well for taking a look. Um, <laughs> these are bespoke bushings. Um, so. The answer to can you upgrade the 540 Mabushi SH motor uh, and improve it with the bearings? Um, no, you can't. Um, so sadly, um, a 540 motor was um, <laughs> was, uh, was was hurt during the making of this film. I do apologise. Um, sorry, Mr. 540 motor. Um, but sacrificed in the in the name of science. Sorry, that's the way it goes. You're mechanical. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, so yeah, don't do what I do. Don't bother taking this apart. It's not financially viable, and you can't get the bushings because they are a bespoke bushing. So I'm going to go and find a motor that I'd like. Mm -hmm. Wonder what it'll be. See you in the next one. Do take care. God bless you all. Bye bye.